Silencer. Silencer. Your hero. Alliance. I guess that's the limp hero mid lane then. Yes, Last it, it is mid silencer. The Enigma. Saxa still kind of toying around bottom lane, thinking about whether he wants to drag wave. Looks like that pounce in onto the Enigma though, with that ink swell connecting onto Seb. Should be able to give Nico baby that first blood, but the slow from the smash, the boulder kicked across the map by Saxa, just about keeps Seb alive. He oh, snipes FNG him. snipes him with a stroke of fate. Nicely played. Left, right, left. Couldn't dodge it. Got one fairy fire, and he really is towing that line. Imminent. It's like mid one's gonna be walking the base and then TPing back to lane. Four. That by Sumail. Sumail getting the solo kill onto the Beastmaster. Let him still save the point. In case he needs to pop the global silence, level one global silence, 300 mana, so you need to have a lot to actually cast it. I thought the top lane is going to be much better for Alliance, but as Look you at said, them kill the balls. And they're going to go for S4 now, diving onto tower. No tail, getting that cursor of Venice going, but Limp's rotation going to come in and try and pick off some mail with the little ink swell. Catching out the Abaddon on his way out as well, so Limp with a double kill. Easy bonus intelligence. One, two, three, four, five, six heroes. Seven heroes mid, yeah, roll in. Straight through the middle. Now lift up. Does stun the Abaddon, but this Lashrak, so much damage with the pulse over. Finds Hanskin, FNG. He's getting jumped by mid one. There's the remnant and two kills in a row for OG, as they've got another eight edict here. So bring down this tower. Four. Come over and grab the outpost. Pretty much every other hero on the map though, bottom lane. OG playing this five-man gameplay, chasing Nico Baby. No tail, still level five, just shields himself up. No borrowed time yet. But they've jumped onto Limp, mid one and Sumail, these two core heroes, pummeling Alliance into the ground, and one by one it's a double kill for Sumail with a black, black hole. hole. Catching them as well. They've got S4 trapped inside, and OG, five heroes still up and running. Bringing down the tier one, another massive team fight for them. That Limp had in the laning stage doesn't matter. Like, look at Void Spirit. He has 400 more net worth, and now he's the one who's in control. S4 is getting caught near the Ancients now. It's a male with that split earth. He yules himself up into the air. Make sure he doesn't die to the Necro units or a roar or something. Not efficient farming by any means. He's able to take down Ancients. Or spotting Seb. About the roar, but holding it for a little while. Finally, I'm gonna stun off, stealing out Eidolons for Hanskin. And Sumail stops Lark from free farming bottom lane and also stops the push coming in. The opposing tier one, go baby, working on what looks like a BKB. Picks up the Ogre Axe first, could still switch into that S and Y, which he loves so much, but a roll in, catched uh, by the roar, caught by the roar, even. As mid one, trying to dive onto Limp. They do finish off Saxa now, a good pounce. And a global silence, focusing mid one's Void Spirit. Lashrak can't really do too much, and they don't have that Greaves yet, so Enigma oh, holding Lashrak the is hole. so low. Don't get Sumail. Aggressive roll in from that Earth Spirit, though, and he pays with his life. Mid one also getting caught in the crossfire. Position five Grimstroke is pretty impressive. They're now overtaking the mid one Void Spirit in net worth as well. Hanskin, found by Saxa. Looks like he's getting soloed out as Roshan is about to drop. Let's see if Hanskin can escape this. Magnetize, doing an awful lot of work here. Remnant misses, but mid one joins the fight to finish him off and his Aghanim Scepter completed. Now OG wants to push some towers. Global Silence will be up in 15 seconds. They're keeping a timer on that, but they can still take a fight. Less rack. Primal Roar is ready, but the Baton is already behind. It's it's a hard Beastmaster game. Like, they need, if it's possible, connect. Yeah, that's, that's it. Find. Beastmaster with plus one with roar. the Roar. He does get off the borrow time, so No-Tail trying to dodge away, but they lose Saxa. Turning around and fighting, this Lashrak is being shredded by Nico, baby, and the Aegis Black down. Hole. Black Hole wasted! Catcher zero! Seb! No! What have you done? 
Missing out completely on this team fight. Maybe they can find the Slark on his way out. He's got another pounce in two seconds and a TP. Mid one trying to give chase a bad one. The Shrak. They can't find Nico, baby. He slipped away. Smoked up with FNG. Mid one catches a glimpse of them. But the high ground is coming. The Lions aren't really ready to defend this. OG are on your doorstep. Nico Baby backstabbing with the Ink Swell, jumping straight onto the Enigma. He does have Black Hole here, but they've got the Global Sars to back them up as FNG shredded by mid one. Slark's still going, looking for Seb. Yes, Essence Shift stacks are up, but... BKB now that's now a problem. Fired. Yours up into the stun. They've got the split earth. The roar is decent here to buy time for Nico Baby to shadow down to turn and fight. But the magic damage spilling in onto the slug, forcing the global science out from Alliance. But that's their team fight combo expended now. And uh, Enigma still has Black Hole. And he's got Blink as well. So if this Enigma sees a chance to Blink Black Hole, he could go for it. It's being cancelled out little by little. Stroke of Fate there doing a great job. As they back up now, OG self yules the Lash. The dive into the back from mid one and Saxa, trying to catch the silencer. As that Saxa Earth Spirit does get healed up by the Greaves and rolls away to safety, barely makes it out. Soulbind in onto mid one, catching Lash as well, but there's no chain stuns. There's no ability here for Alliance to take this fight properly. And Nico Baby's being annihilated. Oh, he's got a dark pack off. He's got second. the right clicks from the Lash, but the BKB comes out. Not sure that was required. Now he's teeping forward aggressively, looking to turn the fight again. Saxa getting picked off. Oh, he rolls away, barely escaping. Finally, the Glaive will take him down as OG full retreat mode now no tell walks into the midst of the enemies gives his life for his cause to escape where's Smell. the left he there it is by the left hanskin grabs him up the drags him the waiting arms of limp plus two thank you very much void spirit working on his bkb now as lash finish off the bloodstone lash not thinking about a bkb of his own Nora Lincolns or any kind of defensive items outside of the yule scepter which he's already had for quite some time while oh, they're diving limp down to a third of his HP. He pops the region. Turns. Silenced. One makes that escape yet again. Nico Baby. Do they just black hole him here? They're holding on to it. Seb. Not wanting to expend it so early on. Chain stunning the Slark with a silence. They didn't need the black hole. Nico Baby. Astronomical way too price. Long. Make stuff happen. They throw a couple of spells on him, but there's no real save besides the global silence. Now there's no global. Nico Baby might be forced to buy. He needs to buy back. Otherwise, they're going to lose another set of Raxes. 30 seconds on the sidelines. They're diving in deep, looking for the science of the limp. Magnetized up at the roar. Now arriving onto mid one. They don't get the Aphotic Shield to save him up. Saxa does to get blown up completely, and now the Soulbind. Where's the combo? They don't have anything. It's just the Slark pummeling. Yes, they do. Into mid one's Void Spirit. The dive was too deep, and OG. They have Black Hole, but again, they're not using it. Nico Baby getting a double kill, getting the gold because of the buyback. Top tier two. Keep that midway pushed. But hey, look at this. Alliance with a long smoke wraparound. Slark shows mid. Usually an indication that everyone's behind him in the base waiting to defend. And they spot the Lashrak. So male jumped the illusion rune there. And the self yules with the global science in on top of him. Now they soul bind him up. Looking for the pick on Lashrak. Seb grieves. No blink dagger though. He's going to black hole solo onto the Nico Baby Slark. Sax is brought down when he bumps back straight off the bat. Pounce out from Slark. No, he turns to fight. His BKB's done. He's silenced up, but he's out of there. Jumped upon again by mid one. Silenced once more. Nico Baby. He's got to bail away, but he can't. The gap closed from mid one's void spirit. Perfect. There's a double kill from Limp finds the Seb kill, a roll in from Sax as the other fight breaking out, looking for the Sansa kill, Limp still alive with the Essence Ring there, and they'll find Sumail, the Inkswell, stunned, taking him down, and a roll in again, catching the Sansa, a triple from that Limp Sansa, but it's still OG with a buyback from Saxa coming in and saving the fight. If Slark commits to a single target with the full BKB, needs to get out, this is where mid one hero shines, like... This instant silence coming up from Resonant Pulse is insanely good against silence. Here's the combo. Double, double lift, lift, double silence. Oh, they borrowed time from No-Tail, but mid one shredded. They didn't get another barracks. They focused on the melee. That's going to be healed up in time. And No-Tail, he's going to be picked off again. Limp, bonus four intelligence, up to 46 permanent int stolen. 25 seconds for the Enigma Black Hole. This is Roche for Alliance. They're one lane of barracks down, but they are still fighting a tooth and nail for this game. 
Zeb comes in with a midnight pulse. Pounce out by the slug. Diffusal Blade has slowed down the Enigma with the Inkswell there. He's chasing him down. Sansa grabs the Aegis as Leshrac. Focusing Nico, baby, but gets turned on immediately with Global Science. He's lotused up. Saved by the Abaddon. Black Hole is up. In. Soulbind is there, though. Two Sans is flying out from FNG. They've also got the last word onto the Enigma with a three-man stroke of fate. Alliance can regroup on their high ground as this mid one void spirit takes down Hanskin's Rubik. Finally, Seb jumps in with a black hole. It's a pretty decent one as well. Age is gone, and they're going to catch S4 as well. Two heroes down, and a slot trying to fight, but he can't do it. Annihilated by OG, game, and Gary. that is it. Oh, Slark with no buyback, Rubik with no buyback. That's why Lashrak is such a great pick. Bottom Rax is already gone. There's still tier 2 tower on the top lane, but OG, they're pushing in. Tier 4 They've tower, taken. very low. And this could be it. No buyback on Slark, Rubik, or Beastmaster. There's 30 seconds. A window here has opened for OG. A 4 versus 2. Silencer needs to stay in the fountain. He can't get picked off now. FNG trying to clear out waves. What can Alliance do? They need to buy time, but they just don't have the resources. A Yule's in the split earth stun, catching limp. He's got no BKB, no force staff, no HP, and that's game. 32 minutes in, OG finally with a final strike to the jugular. That fight beautifully played out, and GG's cool. A very nice and entertaining game to watch, for sure. Like OG, their aggressiveness. When they grouped up around the mid tower, creep skipping with lash and then forcing the fights it like this aggression from og i don't think any other team is doing it like them puck game as well but a beast master gonna be seb's hero here so it looks like it will be that mid one magnus planning around a safe lane got buffed like you're have extra armor and extra region hands can they're playing Eventually. very aggressive on him gets first blood up top though fenji going real wild and looking for courier snipe as well but it looks like he's gonna just kill himself to tower over a kill to no tail in the meanwhile ever no tail gone from fng being the aggressor to all of a sudden Pressing forward as bottom lane, they do get a good catch up to Saxa, but Sumail's focusing Hansken. So a good lift up. Puts Hansken pretty sticky spot here. Pops his stick. The trade not gonna do the job there for Sumail, as No Tail does kill off FNG. Saxa though, with the help of Sumail, get the kill as it's traded back by S4 Spear. Stomp from the centaur. Whose centaur is both it? Of them. It's uh, OG Centaur. And now with the tranquils. Like he gets in, gets harassed. And then goes back to region up. Oh, Seb in trouble. Sam. Nice fairy fire with the Inkswell. They're turning on Nico Baby. Seb gonna come in with a couple of hits. Is it gonna be enough? Nico Baby turns to fight with a stomp there. FNG. What is that AoE? Slay Seb. My goodness. No Tail's now in a bit of trouble as well. Nico Baby is gonna walk back into the fight. They've tipped up Seb while hitting No Tail. FNG's taking his hands off the keyboard here and just A moving onto the Grimstroke. Courier coming in, another adaptive strike, not quite enough to bring him down. And FNG under the tower, very deep. Inkswell does connect, and No Tail. Oh, this is a bit dangerous. That stomp's gonna finish him off, and FNG's still alive. He's no still alive. For 20 seconds time. My goodness, FNG. Okay, Seb has it. We'll get revenge. Bounty rune remaining on the map there. It looked like Limp grabbed one of the northern ones and now hunting for mid one. Stacking camps for himself. Good deep observer ward. Limp's gonna get a snipe here. Astral step with resonant pulse straight on top of the Magnus. Skewer doesn't get him far enough away. That's a pretty big kill. Just shutting down Magnus or any kind of hero that has flesh farming ability. Bottom lane, Ricky. Yeah, oh, Rick's pretty hard to take down. Spear, no mana. Oh. Now he has it. Fell behind mid one. Let's try and play onto the Magnus. You need Very another kill oh, hero to kill him. Like he's just way too tanky. Just gonna solo RP limp. Trying with the silence there, but not quite timed. Very close gank. And Sumil was also here as well. They're gonna force limp to expend an astral step to get away. But here's OG again, you know, 10 minutes in, they're looking for these plays because a pick off onto Limp means a tier one tower mid with a catapult wave. But now knowing three heroes show mid, Saxon dodges the spear bottom lane, gets a lift onto the Mars, but the gods rebuke. 
Let's take him out. Bounty room spawning. Ricky will pick up one. Seems like it's gonna be three for one for OG. So male jumping Hanskin. Good silence stops the disruption. So a quick little dispatching of the Shadow Demon means S4 is running out of blood, not really getting the job done. So Mel gets a double kill. Really well executed by No-Tail there. This Ricky combo and Limp. This damage. An empowered Ricky. It does finally expire, but Limp, he's going to have to use an Astral Step here surely to get away. He's popped Assimilate, so Mel not going to give chase. Then one charge is still in the hands of Void Spirit. Now Magnus, mid one, hasted up. He went in to uh, scout out where Nico baby has been hiding. Morphling farming, large camp. No stacks of ancients remaining. Deal some, so he goes down to his own large ancient camp. Take them down. Oh, he might die here. here. Mid one RPs. RPs. <laughs> oh, we got him. What is that? A ten man RP? Is he still gonna die? Oh, mid one. Like someone tip him, please. <laughs> 171 ping. That's what we're going to blame it on. That's that's what that's what mid one's playing on right now. Dyer's top it wasn't his fault. Roar up. S4. Trying to be held by FNG Stomp. No tail still here with the Phantom's Embrace and mid one's coming in to help as well. So no escape for the Mars. Try his best to drag them along for a little bit more of wasted time. They'll keep on fighting. They've got RP back up again after its exceptional usage on those Ancients. Bounty runes. Can't wait any longer though. OG have come in. Staff still ready. Arena is ready. Tail, Soulbind up on the two of them. He's ink swelled himself as well as FNG. He's stuck on the low ground. Waveform in towards the arena. No tail brought down as the simulate. Keeps limp in the fight. They've got RP. It's been busted out. Now Nico Baby, incredibly powerful, roared up inside the tricks of the trade. He does have a waveform to get away. Shockwave keeps him in play, but there's Hanskin. Able to drag everyone in and say, hey, I'm the target you want to go for. Gives his life to allow the rest of Alliance so Male's escape, still but... chasing. He wants FNG. Man, uh, you don't go on, dude. You know, Blink Dagger. S4, 50 gold away from it. You know the Hawk is up above them, so OG. Have that vision as they... Sucks like they've got Ink Swelled up and he TP's top, but they'll just Soulbind up. Nico, baby. They double roar and focus. S4, the Mars. He's so low, but he's disrupted up and saved by Hanskin. Now, a big gut splitter from FNG. Beautifully done by Alliance. Slaying the Grimstroke and an S4 double kill as the Ricky follows. Alliance uses the info given on the map. Having a few technical issues today with... Uh, Smoked up. And stuff. And Dota Mag talking. with the Dota RP blink. So they have two... OG and Alliance. Both smoked up on opposite sides of the river. Gary, are you okay? Yes, I can hear you now. You hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah, people were complaining in our first series about Discord issues. Yeah, it's the players and us as well. But the RP, three man RP. Mid one, beautiful catch. Skewer them back into the waiting arms of the rest of OG. A double for Seb now. As the Soulbind comes out onto two of them. They've got Nico maybe trapped inside the smoke screen, and they're going to spear him out of it. But it doesn't matter. It's a four man sweep through as OG beautiful initiation. Alliance didn't stand a bloody chance. And uh, just do perfect backstab, man. Mid one, three man RP with that. Um... Earlier blink dagger pickup. Bounty runes are spawning. Let's see. No tail might be in trouble. Looks like the void spirit's gonna get silenced up here though. Hanskin with a poison moving across to try and catch no tail. The spear from Saxa. They don't have any more follow through though. Dissimulate? No. Limp has the one charge and stomp up Saxa to get the two support kills. Oh gee, too deep. They have edges, so now they can keep playing more aggressive. Like, you see, Ricky is not really farming with with that Empower. Usually it's just for the team fight. Giving him that more damage as Seb found by the Mars, but a two-man RP again from mid one with a smoke screen. They can't do anything. Limp disrupted up to get him out of danger, but he's still trapped in the middle of all of OG's heroes. The Soulbind connects him to the other Titan and Ricky. Annihilating yet another couple of heroes in a row as Nico Baby focuses no tail. Does get the kill on the support, pulls the Aegis out from the Ricky, but Alliance, they've got to retreat from this one. Mid one is back in again. Nearly finding the kill on FNG. Does limp away and Sumail giving chase. Quick little spirit with the stomp. Stops the advance of Saxa and Sumail. Dyer's top tower is under attack. 
is under Help attack. With it. Got me smiling again. <laughs> oh gee. They are fishing. Who's that? But Hanskin, nice positioning to pop the smoke. They drums and they jump in. Great uh, initiation from that limp Void Spirit, though. Still gonna get caught and picked off here. Disruption buys him a little bit of space. Maybe they can turn this one. Very long. Yeah, down goes Morphling, though. And FNG, the focus from OG, really picking their targets exceptionally well. And one by one, the dominoes will tumble down. Seb still blinking forward aggressively, looking for the catch onto Limp and Hanskin. The ball slow will take out the SD with mid one whacking him away for a triple kill. And Alliance, just absolutely nothing you can do. The speed at which OG pick a target out. Mid and top both pushed in. OG could think about the tier two, but Alliance already prepping themselves for a pretty good defense. Ricky is now showing down bottom lane. Power tricks of the trade. Creep waves. Ricky shows and they still fight mid. They've got the catch onto the limp void spirit and they've shredded him. The Mars Arena does nothing. The buyback from Limp comes out. Mid one BKB and skewers out. Good spear from Saxa holds the voice spread away. The gem's still on the deck, but they TP away. Just BKB TP out. It's that easy. Yule's up. Trying to catch at least one straggling target so they get no tail. But that's a buyback from Limp and they smoke up. They need more desperately. Ricky in to try and connect with the rest of his squad. That empower from mid one. No RP. One and a half minutes. 40 seconds for the roar of Seb, but they lift up S4. Shockwave in to focus down Hunskin. They found the Shadow Demon. No bubble, no save. S4, he's being annihilated now as Sumail's Ricky is unstoppable. Quick skewer out from mid one. As Nico maybe does the same thing. Morphling does not want to stick around in this fight. They've got Roar in 20 seconds. They're trying to catch the Morphling with a smoke screen. Tricks the trade again. What connections can they make with stuns? It's the, it's the Mars Spear. Stolen by Saxa. And Nico baby yet again out of mana and out of HP. Destroyed by OG. They decide to take a fight when there's no abilities, but OG will gladly take that one. Ooh, double damage for Morphling on the bottom lane. Spirit. That there's no one taking Roshan, or at least a, a glimpse of anyone. Lion's pretty happy holding where they are for now. The fear of Sumail jumping on you as the Mars misses the spear, gets his ulti down onto Sumail, but he's got smoke screen and tricks of the trade. S4, oh, that's not the way to initiate. Does get the disruption off to save him. How's oh, that stolen out? I'm not sure, but a soul burn double roar. That's the play you make as OG. The DD morphling, he pops his BKB to turn a fight, but the RP catching him. He and finds him no more. Down and out, doesn't have buyback and alliance. There is no coming back from this. Devastating blows from OG. Yeah, you don't even have to go for Roche right now. There's two buybacks. It's a full team wipe for OG, actually. And uh, I think this game also shows. Uh, his Mirana, a couple of days ago, when they had nothing against the Storm Spirit, he built Road of Atos. They're just going to go for Tier 4 Towers. Skip Hell the yeah, barracks. why not? End the game. Kill the Mango Tree. Destroy the base. S4. Say goodnight. OG putting on an absolute clinic here. 37 to 17, and the throne's about to fall. No Morphling, no Void Spirit. Do whatever you can, try to stall it. That's it. Well, it was your fault, and now we know, Gary, whose fault was it who was causing the issues and i was the one who apologized a couple of times even though it wasn't my fault but we'll, we know for the future man what a strong showing from og in this game as well